Oh, you look lovely. Take I a seat. Sick. Oh dear. Ready? <laughs> oh no. You had a bit of a raucous welcome there, didn't oh, you? I so too. I've paid them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me just refresh your memories about how the challenge of a lifetime works. Uh, I turn up completely unannounced at your home, place of work, or wherever, and it'll be a complete surprise, won't it, Lynette? Yes. <laughs> then I ask you to choose one of the now famous three don't try this at home envelopes and in each envelope is a challenge described only by a cryptic clue we then whisk you off and it could be anywhere in the world and apart from the cryptic clue you'll have no idea what your challenge is all that you can be certain of is that these are major challenges and when I say major I really do mean major you'll have to overcome real fear and real danger to achieve your final goal if you're unsuccessful, or if you decide not to go ahead with the challenge, well, it'll then get passed over to me. And I'm telling you that it is, in fact, written in my contract, in capital letters, that I can say no. <laughs> because I know just how daunting these challenges are. Now, if I decide I don't want to fulfil the challenge, then a member of the Don't Try This At Home safety team will demonstrate the challenge instead of me. Phew! So, Lynette, are you ready? I guess so. Now, you really had absolutely no idea that uh, I was about to gatecrash your happy family gathering, did you? None whatsoever. I was gobsmacked. <laughs> OK, well, let's see what your reaction was to uh, my interruption, shall we? Hello? I'm looking for Lynette. Lynette? 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 Are you Lynette? Oh, my God! Oh, no! <laughs> Uh, come no. here, come here. Now, turn round, because we don't want to lose your pretty face on the camera. Now, you know who I am. Yes, I, I do, and I know why you're here as I well. I am Davina McCall. Yes, I know you are. And I'm from Don't Try This At Home. I think she looks like Davina McCall. What's she doing here? <laughs> you wrote to us. I know, yeah, I did. well done. Very gutsy doing that. Now, you know what these envelopes yeah, contain do. then, don't you? Yeah. Because this is for challenge of a lifetime. Yeah. So choose your challenge. One. Which one? one? Red one, take it. <laughs> Keep to the straight and narrow so your big end stays dry. Right, now I'm going to come over to here. Right, tell everybody what that says. Keep to the straight and narrow so your big end stays dry. Any ideas? Tight road? No ideas. Car mechanic. Okay, where are your kids? Where's Gemma and Jonathan? How do you know what my kids know? Ah! <laughs> Where's your husband? Come here. Hello. Because we've got to get somebody to take care of the kids because you're going to go away. What? You're going away. Both of you are going away. And you don't know where you're going either, do you? Well, you're both going to Australia. <laughs> so, let's go. Let's go. It was quite a surprise when I That's take it. Bit. And what was it like for you? Because I always think it must be so hard for the husbands to try and keep the secret. Oh, it's annoying. Was it difficult? Yeah, because she, she's nosy anyway at the best of times. She'll always find out. <laughs> if something's she? going on, you know. Yeah. Yeah. She is. She, is. Yeah. she always yeah. susses things out, but luckily for this one, she didn't. OK, well, I know you haven't actually seen any of the film yet, so uh, we don't want to have to keep you in suspense any longer. Uh, we went to the other side of the world for this challenge and I hope that you all have nerves of steel because it actually takes some watching, never mind doing. It's the challenge of a lifetime for Lynette Warren. Lynn! Hi! 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 Come here, how are you? Oh, Shaking. Oh no! Now, okay, do you, do you remember what the cryptic clue was? Yes, I do. Yes. Now what was it? Keep on the straight and narrow and try to keep your big end dry. Or right, anything like that. Any ideas? I kind of, we've been through crocodiles, we've been through tight ropes, speed boats, something with water. I don't know, it could be anything. Okay, it's none of those. No. Right. Now, how are you with cars, Lynn? Have you ever seen me drive? I've heard. Yeah. Now, how many cars have you had? 17. 17? <laughs> okay, what goes wrong with these cars? I've crashed crashed three or four right and the others have fallen apart right yeah. because your challenge has got to do with cars I'm afraid <laughs> I'm afraid it has yeah in fact your challenge has got to do with that car over there oh my god and <laughs> we want you to drive that car across on those across there god 
The rails that you're going to be driving on are only 20 centimetres wide, which is just the width of the tyre. She really is shaking. <laughs> okay, so this is how it goes. You're going to be attached to a harness. The car's not going to be attached to anything. Right. So when you're driving over, if you do slip and the car goes off, the car goes I gone stay. goodbye. Um, and you stay. You'll be dangling and we can winch you back. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Now the challenge is for you to get from A to B without falling off. <laughs> it's not to say yes. I mean, this, we want you to be able to succeed at this. Okay. All right. Now, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm up for it. You are up for yeah, it? Yeah, I'm up for it. Ready? Yeah, I'm up for it. Okay, well, what we need to do is get you some uh, little driving lessons in. <laughs> how long you got? Oh, well, yeah, probably not long enough. Not <laughs> enough. It's time for Lynette to tell Jason what her challenge is. Now, I wonder what his reaction's going to be. I've got to go across there, in there. <laughs> I'll be on that, though. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, don't believe it. What do you reckon? <laughs> what is this, car number 18? 18. Have you told him? Yeah. You have. And I said, if what I... What do you think? Look, you're clinging oh, on for d*** life. Let go of a man. <laughs> if I do this, he's never the same thing oh, about my driving never. ever again. Never. ever. The weather's turned on us, giving Lynette time to contemplate the terrifying task in front of her. Those rails are just 20 centimetres wide, and they're beginning to get caught in the wind. I think she'd rather just get on with it. You, my dear, are ready to go. Well, at least the car started first time. I don't know who's feeling it more, me or Jason. The rails are barely wide enough for the tyres. That's perfect. Good speed. Exactly where it is. Get your right slightly. That's it. It's so high. Bernie's in constant radio contact with Lynette. Keep it at that. Very good. It's looking excellent. Going up that. Go left a little. Bring it over left a fraction. That's it, she's nicely on. Gently Lynette up. must now be realising just how high 30 metres really is. All right, you're doing brilliantly well. Now Lynette seems to have a little bit of a problem. Oh, I lost my foot on the clutch. What, darling? What's happened? I just want to get my... I've left... My foot's moved on the clutch. I'm trying to ease it back. You OK? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with it where it is. Do you want to stop a minute? Stop a minute and, and think about your clutch. If it's not comfortable... It's not, but I don't know how I can move it without coming off the clutch. Come out of here. You could do that, yeah. Take it nice and slow. Okay. Brilliant. Slowly, slowly, remember? Someone give me some directions. Yep. Stay straight, you're doing perfectly. Am I too far over to the right? You might want to go a little bit left. The noise the girders were making was starting to make us all feel sick with tension. Just look at that wheel on the left. I mean, how's it holding on? That's it. Brilliant.
Yeah. You okay? Yeah. the replay from our overhead camera. The 30 metre fall is spectacular. I mean, whose hands? My palms are Mine. just absolutely <laughs> soaking wet. Are you are you proud that you did that? You did so well. I'd like to have another go so I could get all the way across. Were you though. were you disappointed that you didn't get all the way across? Not not disappointed. I, I don't know. I didn't feel that you know I'd let myself down or anything. You know, it kind of just fell off. Well, I mean, I know I speak for everyone when I just say how utterly brave we all think you were, don't I? Mm. Yeah. even to do the challenge. Um, unfortunately, because you didn't manage to complete the challenge, um, it was then passed over to me. And having watched you and knowing what was likely to happen, I foolishly, uh, quite madly, said yes. And before I had a chance to change my mind, they had me in the bright orange jumpsuit and I was sitting in a car. Nice and steady, where you go. Steer first, yep. Yeah. Good, keep it at that, keep it at that, just ease it down. You can still afford to go fractional right. That's very good. Now right oh a little. Oh my god, it's so high up. Concentrate, stay right. It's so high up. Stay right. Okay, I'm going to move to the other side now. Okay, I'm going to stay here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Come forward. Nice and slow and easy. Straight? Straight as you are. That's fine. Keep rolling. You're nearly halfway. Stay to the right a little. Am I at that thingy? No, yes, you're at the centre line now. Good, Davina. Keep coming. Very good. Keep it rolling. You're starting to go uphill now. You're going to need a little bit more clutch. Go to the right. Bring it over right. Harder right. Very good. You're both in the same place now. Keep coming. Ease that clutch out. Very good. Ease it out. Keep it going. Okay. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> well done. Speak to me. Speak to me You're very well. Come on. Was it was this coming to get you? Warren? Thumbs up. Thumbs up, darling. She's good stiff. I don't like heights. Right, right. Up a bit. I'm okay. Up a bit. I'm okay. I started crying. How pathetic. <laughs> Actually, one of the most scary things that ever happened to me, and it was quite funny because I was a bit blasé. As I was going over, I was a little bit blasé, and then it went and I burst into tears. So I know <laughs> what you went through. Now, Lynette, before we say goodbye, um, I'd like to actually read out the challenges that you turned down. Okay, so first off, 
let's have a look in here. Um, in the blue one was <laughs> a bike ride over a thousand metre cliff attached by bungee rope to a helicopter. Excellent. Mind you, judging by your past history with cars, you'd probably be probably better off with that, yeah. yeah. Um, or climbing the Sky Tower in Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, yeah. That would have been good Either as well. Been. And well, you got cars. Got cars. Well, there you go. Anyway, I think I can speak for us all when I say that we wouldn't dream of denying you um, the medal. Because, yeah. <laughs> as you did and really you accepted the challenge um, and it was a really scary one it was a very very difficult one and you did very very well so um, if you'd like to stand up please and come forward pull his trousers down okay <laughs> so it gives me great pleasure to award one very special and very very brave lady our very first of the series this is your challenge of a lifetime medal and it goes to Lynette <laughs> of a lifetime. Are you actually sitting next to someone who's saying, oh, I could do that? Well, if you do want the ultimate test of nerve, and if you think you could overcome fear, then please, we want to hear about you. Do remember that these are big, big challenges, and what you see actually happens, no tricks. So if you are up for it, or you want to nominate someone, write, including a recent photograph, to 